My next guest is the newest member of the UFC's middleweight roster. He got an impressive win this past Tuesday at Dana White's Tuesday Night Contender Series, finishing Justin Sumter in the first round. It is Ian Heinish back here on the program. Ian, how are you? I'm doing excellent. You know, riding high. I, I bet, man. What a finish that was. And uh, before we get to that, where are you going right now? I see you're in your car. Um, yeah, we're actually going to a concert uh, up in the mountains uh, out of Loveland. And... Um, and then I leave for Mexico tomorrow on a little vacation. Nice. Well-deserved, man. That's that's awesome. You really set things up nicely. Yes, I do. You know, it's I got to have that mental reset. Um, it's so overwhelming with the phone stuff and getting back to everyone uh, before and after the fight. So it's nice to just get away for a little bit and uh, reset. Yeah, and it's uh, great to get a chance to talk to you, man. I appreciate it. I know you're really busy. Um, but we got to talk about the fight, though. Could that have gone any better? You went out there, took care of business, another first-round finish. Yeah, no, it was great. You know, I was ready for wherever the fight was going. I was intending on trying to keep it standing. I was, I wanted to get another very impressive knockout on the feet, but it went to the ground, and I got to show some skills uh, off my back, trying to throw up a few subs, and just decided to uh, get on top of him. And yeah, it worked out perfect. It was, uh, it was, it was great, and Dana White liked it, so I'm happy. Uh, was there any nerves at all about the contract? Because, you know, there were some other finishes. Like, uh, did that ever go through your head at all? You know, just with my record and pedigree and just Dana's reaction, I I felt very confident. I, I really wasn't worried. And um, I just knew it was my timing. And I performed the way I wanted to. I got a knockout that uh, really impressed Dana. So I figured the contract was going to come. Anything at all surprised you about your opponent? or like, Or was it just pretty much what you expected? Uh, you know, I thought he was uh, more of a – he wanted to stand more, but he, he did take a shot right off the bat, and he wanted to wrestle me, and that's fine with me. I mean, he he might not know, but, you know, wrestling's where I started with. So I was okay with that. I stayed calm. I stayed composed. I dealt with a little adversity, and I got the finish. So I'm, I'm happy with the, the results of all that. And I know some people uh, made a thing about uh, you wearing a suit after uh, after the fight, which, uh, you know, seems to be a Jim Walter thing. I, I see uh, Stipe's uh, all, all nicely dressed up. Uh, Anthony Lionheart-Smith's yeah. got the blue suit. Is that just a Jim Walter thing? Uh, you know, it's – no, not really. You know, it's an Ian Heinish thing. I, I, I came to get a job, and uh, I got the job. And, uh, you know, you're, you're dealing with professionals, and I'm a professional too, so I wanted to look the part. And, you know, you dress good, you feel good, you fight good. And I went out there for a job interview, and I got the job. No, I agree. I, th I think it's a, a good way to sort of set a standard. And you guys are professionals, so you want to look the part and everything. But uh, no, I was just joking because uh, Jim always, you know, dresses up and stuff. Jim, oh, of, course, of course, is your manager, so I uh, I just had to poke fun at him because uh, I noticed Anthony as well. You know, has that tailored suit and everything, so it's kind of neat that you oh, guys yeah. are all uh, you guys sort of stand out. That, that's a good way of putting it. Um, how do you how do you celebrate after a win like that? Uh, you find out you got the contract. What did you guys do that night? Uh, we went out to a big dinner with all the family and friends that came out to support. And then uh, we ended up going to uh, some rooftop place and Snoop Dogg was there live and exhibit. And it was a fun night. I was pretty sore towards the end of the night. And, and you know, it's always hard to sleep the night of a fight with that adrenaline still flowing in you. But we had a good time, man. I hung with some family and friends and, and just gave all my appreciation to everyone who supports me. Have you heard it all from the UFC at all since the win? Uh, you mentioned you talked to Dana a little bit. Uh, what was the feedback like? Uh, I mean, the feedback was great. You know, uh, I did a few things on there, and I, I feel like I, I was very original. You know, I was the first backflip, I believe, to be in the Contender Series. Uh, you know, I was the first guy to wear a suit right after the fight. And I was the first guy to call out everyone who went through there because, uh, I, I, like I said before, I'm the king of Contender Series at the middleweight division, and I hope to fight all those guys that went through there and prove that I'm the best, and they kind of got fast-tracked, and good for them, but I want to prove that I'm better. Yeah, I'm, I'm glad you brought that up because uh, it's really interesting with LFA. Every single LFA middleweight champion is now in the UFC. It's it's kind of crazy. Like, they don't even have a, a belt right now because you technically were the last champion. And I was looking at the roster right now. I'm pretty sure everyone's booked up that was an LFA middleweight champion. You know, Anders is booked up. Marcus Perez just got a fight booked up. The only guy that doesn't have a fight right now is the guy who also won in Contender Series, Anthony Hernandez. Is that kind of what you're eyeing as a debut fight? I mean, yeah, if it works out and it, and it's the right timing and it makes sense, I'm ready, and, and I would love that fight. And uh, if he's ready, we can do it in at the Pepsi Center on November 10th. Yeah, that, that has to be the debut, right? That 25th anniversary card in, in Denver. I mean, that, that's got to be the debut where, where you make your debut, I should say. 
yeah, I'd be honored to fight for the 25th anniversary back in Denver where it all started and in front of my home crowd debut there. And, you know, I, I would love that. And if it doesn't work out, I mean, it's, it's all God's timing and I'm just, I'm just going to keep preparing, keep working, keep getting better. And I'm excited. I'm finally where I want to be. And I just, the, the journey really begins now. And if that doesn't work out, uh, there's a really good card. Uh, you know, they don't have any fights on it yet. In uh, Toronto, just down the street from where I am, uh, they, they got that 231 pay-per-view, so they could use some fights. So, you know, c- couldn't be as bad. And, you know, the weather's just as cold in Toronto at that time of year, too. So you'll feel right at home. Cool. Yeah, I'm willing to go wherever. I love to travel. Uh, I love Canada. And uh, I love to travel for fights. So, yeah, wherever, wherever Dana wants to go and, and it makes sense, let's do it. That's great. Um, what's been the feedback like on social media? I'm sure a lot of people jumping on the bandwagon, but uh, you know, for those in the know that uh, you know been following your career for a while, we knew this was only a matter of time. Yeah, it's been it's been overwhelming. It's been crazy, and just trying to go through and just uh, you know mainly getting back to the people that were with me since the beginning and and the sponsors and all the support I've had. I just the people who believed in me since the beginning, and you know it's cool that a lot of people jump on the bandwagon, but. I really focused my attention on those people that were there when, when uh, they couldn't see this, but they, they believed in me and they believed in my dream. Anyone reach out to you that, that you didn't know, like maybe another fighter, uh, just, you know, giving you props for the win, anything like that? Uh, no, it just, it was just awesome to have all the support from all my teammates that are already in the UFC. You know, James Krause helped me cut weight. Zach Cummings giving me a shout out. Anthony talking on the, on the show, just, uh, some of my main training partners, Chris Camozzi, uh, who's getting ready for his glory fight. Uh, just, you know, these are the guys I've been training with. These are the guys I've been grinding with, and they've always believed in me. They see my skills. So it felt good to get some recognition from them. And I got to ask, uh, you know, heading into this fight, was it a nice boost with Anthony's big win a few weeks ago over Shogun Hua? I mean, that must have been a big win for the team. Oh, uh, yeah. Like my coach said, winning's infectious, and, and Factory X is crushing it right now. And you're going to see a lot of fighters coming on the Contender Series and breaking into the UFC from Factory X in the near future. Yeah, I agree with that. Uh, how do you feel like you stack up against the middleweight division? It's kind of going through a bit of a transition period. So the timing of you, uh, you know, being a UFC fighter, I think is pretty good. Yeah, no, it's it's perfect. I'm, I, feel like, uh, I feel like I'm a top 10 fighter right now. And I'm just going to keep getting better and just keep proving myself and uh, keep keep uh, keep finishing fights the way I've been doing. I'm on a three fight first round knockout, so uh, I'm just gonna keep working hard and and keep with my faith and put my head down and I, I believe the results will keep showing the way they are. What uh what concert are you seeing tonight? Uh, Stick Figure. It's at okay. the Festival. Yeah. Okay, that's cool. Any any uh, like like uh, have you been have you seen them before? No, no. It's just it's a lot of good reggae bands and. It's pretty chill music, and it's up by the by this lake, uh, it kind of in the foothills. So it's a very cool venue, and never been, and I'm excited to go. Well, uh, it's well deserved, man. Again, congratulations on the win this past Tuesday. Uh, just to remind people where they can find you on social media, and if you have any sponsors or shoutouts, the floor is yours. All right, yeah, just uh, find me on Instagram and Twitter on Ian Heinish MMA, uh, on Facebook Ian the Hurricane Heinish, and. Yeah, I just want to give a shout out to my gym, Factory X, my strength conditioning at Landau Performance, and then all my sponsors. Uh, Illegal Pete's, Receptor Naturals, El Dorado, Northern Climate Control, Rackfest, Denver Sports Recovery, Rad Roller, In the Cut, Denver Distillery, Extreme Pro, Jesse James Accounting, Relief Massage, Jamie Atlas, Personal Training and Recovery, and Pizzeria Calori. And a big shout out to my manager, Jim Walter. What's up, Fight Fans? If you like this video, be sure to subscribe to see even more interviews with your favorite UFC and Bellator fighters. We've also got coverage at events, including post-fight press conferences and media scrums. And if you like this video, check out the video to my right. It's worth your time.